So the new Oppenheimer movie just came out, tells the story of a brilliant man, J. Robert Oppenheimer, J. Bob, and how he used his intellect to create the world's first nukes, the most powerful weapon in the world. But what if instead of creating a nuclear weapon that could kill all of us, he instead created a musical weapon that could make everyone shit their pants? Let me explain. So for context, I'm on tour with Ryan Celsius right now, and we just played our first show in Baltimore. Anyways, we're on our way into the venue, and we saw this massive sound system. Yo, someone's about to get blasted by these people. Yeah, oh though. god. <laughs> I think this is a lethal setup. And that got me thinking, could you actually create a deadly sound system? Like, can a sound kill you? Turns out, the answer is pretty simple. Yeah, a sound can definitely fuck you up. But if you've seen the new movie, or if you paid attention in history class, neither of which apply to me, you know that J-Bob would eventually come to regret his role as the quote-unquote destroyer of worlds. So let's give him a new origin story. Let's give him a redemption arc, why don't we? Let's replace the explosions with sound waves and imagine a world where Oppenheimer instead dedicated his life to studying the infamous brown note. The brown note is essentially an urban legend that if you play this certain sound frequency loud enough, the acoustic resonance will essentially make you lose control of your bowels. It's kind of like if you've ever seen someone sing a certain note really loud that can shatter a wine glass. It's like that, but much lower and stinkier. The name is a metonym for the common color of human feces. Yeah, thanks Wikipedia. I appreciate the clarification there. Yeah, I like to think it just doesn't work if your poop's not brown. Hey man, you good? Did you shit yourself yet? Sorry man, I've been really under the weather lately. Hey, try the green note. Now obviously with urban legends like this, it's kind of hard to figure out who exactly came up with it in the first place. It's easy to think that maybe it was just some guy at a concert who shit himself and was like, No, no, it's not even my fault, bro. It's the fucking band. You're not supposed to play that No. But as it turns out, a lot of people think this actually originated with NASA. The US space program, worried about the harmful effects of rocket flight on astronauts, ordered vibration tests that used cockpit seats mounted on vibration tables to transfer brown note and other frequencies directly to the human subject's anuses. I added that last part. Directly to the human subjects. Test subjects suffered nausea, visual disturbance, degraded task performance, communication difficulties, and motor ataxia. What does that mean? Does that mean shitting your pants? No, it does not mean shitting your pants. So unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, NASA did not successfully demonstrate the brown note in action. But that didn't stop another group of scientists, nay, American heroes, from trying it out. That's right, baby. In 2005, Adam and Jamie at Mythbusters decided to take on the brown note themselves. They used 12 Meyer Sound 700 HP subwoofers. 700 HP? That's a goddamn boss battle. The subwoofers' tuning ports were blocked and their input cards were altered. They fucking jailbroke these things, dude. They had to hack their speakers just to test this shit. It's gotta be real. I mean, why else would the speaker manufacturer make you jump through all these hoops just to produce the brown note? It's gotta be a cover up, it's gotta be real dude. So they put Adam in the middle, diaper and all, surrounded him with these giant speakers specifically designed to produce the perfect brown note. And they ultimately decided that the myth was busted. Did we bust the myth or not? I think we busted the myth. I think brown note is busted. That's kind of a long pause there. Adam, sure you don't have anything you wanna tell us? Nothing. Wow. Adam's dignity remains intact. Yeah, yeah, that's awfully convenient. Did anybody check Adam's diaper? Cause it seems like it'd be really easy to lie about that. All right, Adam, did you shoot yourself? <sighs> yeah, right. Nice try, guys. Another myth busted. So that's kind of where we stand with the brown note. Um, nobody really knows for sure if it's anything more than an urban legend, but if there's anybody who could have figured it out, it's our boy J-Bob. And therein lies the tragedy of Oppenheimer. His intelligence was used to create the world's deadliest weapon when it could have been used to create the world's funniest poop joke or something like that. I haven't seen the movie yet. If you wanna see the rest of the vlog that I recorded in Baltimore, you can go see that on my other channel. I'm gonna be posting vlogs for every other stop on the tour, so be sure to go subscribe there if you wanna see those. If you wanna come see me on tour, uh, the music you're listening to right now, I'm gonna be playing it at the show. If you like it now, you're gonna like it even more when I play it live, so tickets are on sale now at endofunderground.com. I'll see you there. And lastly, if you wanna support the channel, you can go subscribe to the Patreon, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or join the Discord. Other than that, that's about it for me, short and sweet today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.